Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be making a mouthful of a compound called dichlorotetricus pyridine iron 2, which is basically just iron 2 chloride with four pyridine ligands attached to the iron. I'm going to be doing this on a 25 gram scale according to the pyridine, but I am going to actually use an excess of pyridine because uh, the pyridine has to actually the, the compound form have to, has to be under pyridine or else it will oxidize in air. So I don't want it to soak up all the pyridine per se. I just want it to, uh, you know, take most of it and then we'll still have some on top to prevent the oxidation because iron 2 does not like to exist in air. Um, I did some preliminary test tube tests and the yellow color that is described by some papers that I found is very evident. And uh, hopefully when I do this on a larger scale, it will be very nice and I'll get some nice crystals out of it. So I'm going to weigh out our 25 grams of pyridine and uh, the stoichiometric amount of iron 2 chloride anhydrous would be 10.01 grams, but I'm probably going to use more around 7 or 8 grams. I'll see. And uh, once I've weighed those out, I'll be back and we can uh, perform the reaction. Alright, I've weighed about 8.5 grams of iron 2 chloride. Hopefully, um, it hasn't oxidized too much. And I'm going to be grinding it in my mortar and pestle here. I prepared the iron 2 chloride via Nerd Rage's method, where you take iron metal and you dissolve it in hydrochloric acid over, you know, a couple days. And then you distill out the water to yield anhydrous iron 2 chloride. I feel like that's good enough particle size. Uh, I'm gonna get my pyridine right here. Let's get that in view of the camera. There we go. And I'm just going to add a couple chunks at a time. We should see a yellow color, actually. Let me zoom in so that you can see. There we go. So see a yellow color appear almost immediately. There we go. See that yellow? So we'll continue adding the iron 2 chloride. And yellow color is becoming very evident now. And then just pour in the rest. There we go. It's almost a golden, golden color. I'm gonna put a watch glass over so that we can prevent oxygen from getting in. And I'm actually gonna get some cling wrap to put over the beaker. And I'll be back once all of the iron has reacted, iron chloride has reacted, and uh, hopefully we get some nice crystals of our dichlorotetricus pyridine iron too. I've got some plastic wrap over the top of the beaker and it's actually gotten quite hot. Um, the temperature of the beaker is already up to 61 degrees and yeah it's very hot to the touch. The volume of pyridine has decreased as it becomes attached to the iron 2 chloride. And we're gonna keep mixing until everything has fully reacted. It's turned into a thick sludge. All of the pyridines being absorbed and attaching to the iron. I might have to add more. 
think I'll do that now, actually. Whenever I swirl the sludge, you can see the yellow complex kind of deposits along the walls of the beaker. And there's also a huge mass at the bottom. It's very solid. I added about 10 milliliters more of pyridine. And uh, that's all been more or less absorbed as well. So I'm going to leave this here for a little bit. And we will see what the final result looks like. And then I'll have to scoop out this horribly smelling mess and put it into a vial. So that will be fun. But the color, aside from being yellow, is very nice. So, there we go. So I've let it sit for about half an hour, and most of the pyridine, well actually all of the pyridine, has kind of like incorporated itself into this mess at the bottom of the beaker. And uh, in one of the papers that I read, they use methanol as the solvent. So I may add some methanol to this to try to loosen it up and uh, isolate some of the actual compound. And that brown stuff on top is just oxidation. So hopefully the methanol will be able to facilitate the separation between my product and any unwanted oxidized byproducts. So I'm going to get some methanol and I'll pour it in. So I added some methanol and there was a significant amount of oxidized stuff underneath and it turned into this very gross looking brown yellow paste. I'm gonna attempt to kind of fix this issue by filtering and rinsing with probably combinations of pyridine and methanol. But it, it has made a nice swirl pattern on the side of the beaker, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna filter into that beaker there, and uh, well, it'll be interesting. It stinks. It looks bad. But hopefully, our final product will not be horrible like this. So after washing with uh, methanol and pyridine multiple times, I have finally gotten a product which is quite yellow. It's not brown anymore. It looks pretty good. As you can see, I kind of made a mess in doing so. A lot of the oxidized stuff came down. And uh, it's got a nice brown, gross solution underneath, but we do have a nice yellow product on top. So I'm going to get to transferring this to a vial. Um, actually, I might have too much for a vial. I'll see what uh, storage containers I have. Probably should have prepared this beforehand, but we learn lessons. And uh, yeah, I will mass our product, and I'll report back once it's bottled and we have our final yield. As you can see, I've made quite a mess, but we do have our product. Here's our final product in the bottle. Uh, subtracting the weight of the bottle, I have approximately 28.7 grams of product inside the bottle, but it is under, in kind of a suspension of methanol, so, you know, the yield's probably going to be a lot lower than that. but. I'm happy with the amount that I got. It's slowly, well, it's not as vibrant yellow as it was before. It's kind of getting a more pukey brown, yellowy kind of color, but it's still pretty cool. Still a pretty cool color. And, uh, yeah, it would obviously be a lot better if you were able to do the synthesis under oxygen free environment but I do not have that capability as of now. So this is the best that I can do, but I'm pretty happy with the result. Our iron dichloro iron tetricus pyridine whatever FeCl2PY4. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, like it, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you 
in the next video.